inter sort of interesting question or a question I get all the time. Um, so I just wanted to make a video so I could answer it for a mass amount of people. Uh, basically, he was asking me, I kind of understand the, the problem here is uh, that they're very on a tight budget and the only place they got to work out or gym setting where they got to work out is a, um, around, around my way it's called Planet Fitness. Around other places, I've seen LA Fitness, I've seen uh, Retro Fitness, and all they are is um, basically larger establishments that take people that act like they want to work out or really work, but they really don't. It's more about making them feel good on the inside. Um, you know, marketing with the uh, judgment free zone and all the commercials on TV, at least for Planet Fitness, are like big muscled up dudes that are dumb and stupid and uh, whatever. Um, and there's no grunting, no deadlifting, no whatever. It's to make people that are very uncomfortable with themselves on the inside uh, feel better that they are a part of an exercise, something, or a gym membership. So they say, I go to a gym. To be perfectly honest, that's what it really is. Um, but so how do they build muscle in this type of setting, in this type of atmosphere, in a place that everybody around them doesn't really want to work out, where the establishment themselves don't let them do one of the best exercises in the world to put on lean slabs of meat or muscle um, is deadlifting. And uh, how, how do they how do they how do they go about it? Well there's two there's certain things that I know. I've been to Planet Fitness. So I know that they do have basically you'll have um, machines that's not the most preferable choice but it's a decent choice. Uh, or not even decent it's it's what you got. They will have dumbbells and you yourself have a body. So you have three somewhat powerful tools there to, to utilize and use. How you use them is up to you, and that's just how what knowledge comes down to. So let's just get on the board, let's start. So you have basically machines. So you're able to work upper body, lower body, and core exercises. Um, number two, you have dumbbells, so you could literally work in every plane of motion that you could that you could do um, with dumbbells. That's a, if you don't have a barbell, that's a, definitely an excellent choice. And the last thing which everybody has is body weight, but they don't understand the true power behind this. I feel that personally, people sleep a lot on body weight exercises. And and and, uh, and when I say body weight exercises, I'm talking about all, all of them. But even your more advanced exercises, I'm not just talking about push-ups and pull-ups and stuff like that. Also, I'm talking about uh, working levers, working planches, working um, progressing the, the, the physics behind it, the positions in different push-ups. Makes stuff a lot harder, which will produce more tension. Uh, but one of the most powerful things that everybody has is just body weight. Um, so what can you do with all this? Um, a lot, honestly. One of the things that you want to get into, and I'm going to link up some videos down below because I made some for uh, in the past about um, strength training in general and hypertrophy and different types of strength. And you watch those videos, you're going to learn a lot. Um, one of the things that you want to play with, we know, uh, variable-wise, is, is called tempo. Understand that the, what you're talking about muscle building, you're talking about hypertrophy. Hypertrophy, there's different types. One's kind of less useless than the other one, but you're just trying to put on muscle. So basically, um, the, the, the amount of stress or tension that a, that a muscle is put under, it causes damage to the tissue or damage to the fibers. It's the amount of time that the muscle's under tension that matters truly the most. So that's what tempo means. And you'll see stuff like uh, in, in certain programming, in certain programs, It'll say, um, if you're play, really playing with the tempo and telling people what to do, you'll see something three, zero, two. So this will be, uh, I'm just going to use a bench press so you understand it. Eccentric. Um, this is kind of like the pause. And this is the concentric. So all that means is on a bench press, three, zero, two means three seconds to come down. Zero, nothing, nothing on the chest, just, just tap, uh, touch your chest, and then two seconds deliberately up. So what is that? That's a five second rep, right? 
Say you're doing, that's equals five second per rep. Now let's just say you're doing, who knows, um, let's just say you're doing eight. So this is eight times eight would be 40. That's 40 seconds a set. Um, if I hope my math is right, I'm going to take it off the top of my head. Um, so that's one of the things you're going to play with is, is, is how the duration of the eccentric, the, 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 the holding part of the pause, and the, and the two second up. You can play with that in all different ways, and that will wreck you. It will wreck you. I'm not, I'm not going to lie. Um, and obviously some of the loads that you're going to use is basically how you would make a lighter weight heavier. Um, in a sense, and not only just for that, but we use that also for uh, dynamic or power work, also speed strength. Um, so it is like we could be saying XXX, which is explosive tempo, so bam, bam, bam with the reps. And there's a reason you want to do that, but that's besides the point. Other things that you want to get into are, so let's just say that's A, B would be a uh, Understand you can do that with machines, you can do that with dumbbells, you can even do that with your body weight. Um, there's uh, drop sets, or some people call them strip sets, strip sets, uh, I guess, is you can do it easily on a machine. Is, um, I use the press for example, laying down flat and you're pressing, 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 bang out eight, and say you have 300 pounds on there. Drop down to 250, get some more reps. You might have to drop down to 185 after that, get some more reps. But you're banging out and you're to truly exhausting the muscle. You may only have um, one or two sets of that in you, though, truly, you know what I mean? Um, so I would, I, would, I would do something like a, 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 you know, building muscle is all about really volume. So I would do a minimum of, uh, of four to five sets at a certain, and, and you want to prescribe that at that eight to 10, the 12 rep zone, and maybe the last set I would do something of the add a drop set, the last two, the last one or two or something like that. But um, you know, there are ways to do stuff, and then body weight is just dude, everybody you could do. I don't care where you're at, everybody could do it. I don't care if you're a 300 pound person, you could do a push up on a wall, you may not be able to push up on the floor, but you know what? You start here and you start changing the levers. Till you're here, and then you know you, you, everybody has the power of doing this. Dumbbell exercises. Look up dumbbell exercises. Everything you can do with a barbell, you can do with a dumbbell. Pretty much everything. And you know what? You could get pretty strong and jack with just this. the The other two components are huge. Uh, now, the other factor is the people around you may be idiotic. The atmosphere may not be the best. Put your headphones on, get to work, get in, get out. Don't sit there and socialize with people. Um, it's the attitude and mentality that you come in the gym with that gets the best results, you know what I mean? Um, some people, it's in, you know, those kind of places are the newfound club where guys go to look at chicks and maybe chicks go to look at guys. I don't know, I've never been told that by a female, but I'm sure they do. Um, and they go to mingle and meet people and basically say amongst the water cooler that they, you know, oh, I'm part of a gym and I work out, I exercise, it's, the intensity that they put into it is is nothing, you know what I mean? And uh, even then, the programming that they do isn't leading them down the right direction of what they truly want. And most of them, I'm sure, are general fitness and fat loss. So, um, But I really hope this helped you out. I'm going to link up those videos down below. Um, this is, you ever play with the tempo, what we call a tempo? Google it, bro. There's, there's, there's plenty of information on this. There's plenty of information on that. Look up um, bodybuilding, um, like a, I don't know what you would call it, I guess. Bodybuilding methods, or how one would uh, play with the reps, reps per se, or different varies, different ways to vary that. Um, but you have tons of stuff on you know, machines. It's pretty self-explanatory with the machine. Uh, what to do and how to do it. Dumbbells may take a little bit of a, little bit of uh, just finding out more information on your own, just look up dumbbell exercises on YouTube. And uh, body weight, obviously start with the basic stuff. This stuff will take literally a long time. Like, I think uh, 
I'm talking about from regular body weight stuff all the way to like gymnastics type level. There's you could get pretty strong and jack doing some of that top level stuff. But maybe that's not exactly what you want to take it, but I'm just saying that then that's always an option. And uh, that's pretty pretty good way to uh, answer your question, I feel. And uh, if you need me, just hit me up. Always here for you guys. TSA, Toronto Street Athletics. Uh, stay on tune, stay on tune for more. Always go to the blog. Check out if you haven't already, go to the blog. Put your email up. Stay up to date with what I got going on. Lots in the future.